The Tundra Times, Volume 1, Number 1, published October 1st, 1962, and Volume 9, Number 14, when the Native Land Claims Bill passed Congress. The Weekly Tundra Times, champion of Native issues for a decade, offices in the Chena Building in downtown Fairbanks. That's office manager Lois Keating. And across the desk, part-time reporter Jacqueline Glasgow, whose byline is seen around the world. Half the paper's press run of 3,200 copies goes outside Alaska to all the lower 48 states in Hawaii and to many nations, particularly in the boreal zone. And that circulation, as well as composing work, are the job of Linda Resch, who also handles invitations to the annual Tundra Times Banquet. The paper's advertising and photography are the job of Frank Murphy. All told, this is the largest staff the Tundra Times has ever had, according to its editor, Howard Rock, who doubles in brass to lay out and paste up the newspaper. He's a talented artist who turned journalist, conceiving the idea 11 years ago for a native newspaper and serving as its only editor for the past decade. Howard Rock, an Eskimo, born in the village of Point Hope on the Chukchi Sea in northwestern Alaska 61 years ago. The paper has had its ups and downs. The paper's financial backer, a retired Massachusetts doctor, died in 1968, and Rock and the Tundra Times board have struggled since to keep publishing on their own. Even so, the paper has come a long way from its most inauspicious beginning. How did it start 10 years ago? Well, uh, Tundra Times started in a rather uh, unpretentious manner, <laughs> I would say because we started in a house trailer and um, and uh, did our copy in there and it was uh, it, we had such a, such a short uh, notice to get started you see and uh, we had our copy in the house trailer on the floor and everywhere and uh, and uh, in the process well we ate and Tom Snap was my uh, uh, was my assistant editor we ate and we uh, wrote and everything in the in the house trailer, and in the process, well, uh, sometimes uh, Tom would cook and when we got hungry, and then uh, in the process, well, he spilled some jam and butter on the copy, and uh, when the people who were setting the copy at uh, Old Justin's Weekly Plant complained, you see, and uh, and we had to do something about that, and well. <clears throat> how come how come you moved out of the house trailer? Well, uh, you see, uh, we had to move out of the trailer because the owners came back from their vacation. <laughs> and, then, uh, <clears throat> and then after that, we managed to find a, a small house across from the Northwood Building. How did the Tundra Times get its name? Well, uh, Tundra Times was, uh, well, that's rather interesting also. We uh, wrestled with a problem for quite some time, and... Uh, we finally came up with uh, with a name, Inupiat Okaktut, and uh, what does that uh, mean? It means uh, the people speak in Eskimo. Someone came up with the name Tundra Times, and it stuck. Rock said the paper's greatest achievement was its unifying effect on Alaska's natives as they fought for the land claims. Just as some say, Rock himself has been the unifying effect that has kept the Tundra Times publishing. Larry Carpenter, Broadcast Center News.